Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We'll be talking about commercial real estate in Central and Eastern Europe. Good Wednesday morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. We're here, of course, in, uh, in uh, Prague, in the Czech Republic, and we're here at uh, a, a Christel uh, development project called uh, The Dock and which has some great uh, residential views and a great uh, dock. So if you can, buy a, you can buy an apartment and also have a boat at the dock. But today we wanna just take a look at what they have on the, uh, on the office side. They're developing 100,000 square meters of office space out here and already have about 50% of it let. So a great place, great, a uh, little bit out of town uh, very nice, very quiet. Uh, I think it's if you're talking about employees not wanting to come back to work, they would definitely like to come back to these offices. So uh, great, great spot to set up your new uh, new operations or expand. Uh, still some opportunities left. I hear them doing some construction in the background. Tomorrow we'll do a little bit on uh, actual living living here, and we'll show you some of the. Uh, the 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 uh, the canal area, the docking area, the ports, the mer even call it a marina, let's say. Um, so having said that, we'll watch a little bit, a little twenty second commercial on our CRE awards, which is taking place in uh, in 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 Budapest in on October twentieth, and also our CE investment awards one week later, October twenty seventh in Warsaw. So. We'll go to Winston Norman right now with the news and we'll be and we'll see you all tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Craig Smith, publisher of EuropaProperty.com. Welcome to the fourth annual Europa Property CRE Awards, the only international real estate awards event based in Budapest, Hungary and covering the surrounding region. After a year of online events, now we are finally able to meet face to face with, our, with international, regional, and local commercial real estate professionals. With over 10 countries covered, including Hungary, Czech Republic, Slovenia, Slovakia, Serbia, Croatia, Montenegro, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Albania and Ukraine, this will be an event not to be missed. Check out our website, creawards.net or europaproperty.com. Good Wednesday morning and welcome to the Coffee with Craig show. And here are the highlights from the EuropaProperty.com website for today. And uh, we'll start with, uh, start in Poland where Kazima Properties has uh, completed the development order Gdansk's first build to suit, build to rent schemes. Uh, it's a joint venture with local investor Tonsa and Olivia Business Center. And it marks Kazima's first build to rent project in Poland. Uh, the building has been incorporated with the at homes operational platform and has quick access to Central Gdansk, Olivia Business Center and the rest of the Tri-City area. Uh, the building has been fully let. Uh, according to Kajima, the project utilizes an ineffective uh, modular construction process that's half the development period and proves significant advantages in specification and quality control. The technology is used to deliver the building, lowered the amount of construction waste and its carbon footprint by 11 percent and will allow occupants to significantly uh, reduce their energy consumption. Uh, moving on, I move to Slovakia and uh, Eurovia Towers becomes Slovakia's tallest building. It has reached 125 meters and with the completion of the 38th floor and by the end of the year it will achieve an extra 47 above ground floors and it will have 168 meters making it the country's first skyscraper. Uh, it has attracted interest from the general public and buyers with an, immediate, an overwhelming interest in apartments which have mostly been sold. In addition to the skyscraper, uh, the Eurovia project also includes an extension of the Eurovia shopping centre and the Riverside residence. Um, moving on to the Baltic states and Syrian development, uh, an industrial real estate developer. Uh, has completed the construction of stage four of the Lipkanis Industrial Park in Vilnius. Uh, this will be one of the largest industrial parks in the Baltic states when completed. Uh, Well-known logistics and e-commerce companies have moved into the premises and according to uh, uh, Lorenus Kovanas, uh, the director of Syrian Development, the industrial park is unique in the Baltic states due to its size, exceptional location, a high construction quality and focus on energy efficiency. 
staying in the logistics sector, moving to the Czech Republic and Decinio Group, a leading uh, European wall art provider, has leased almost 18,500 square meters of industrial space in CT Park Bor. The premises will serve as the Swedish company's distribution center for European markets outside the Nordic region. Uh, the transaction was assisted by Cushman and Wakefield. And according to uh, Jimmy Grunland, he's the head of fulfillment of Decenio Group, he says, with our new logistics center, we get closer to most of our European customers outside the Nordic region, which results in shorter lead times and less environmental impact. As a consequence, we reduce our logistic costs. Uh, next to the Decenio Group, uh, other significant tenants at the park include Loxess, Fiji, and Primark. And finally for today, Panatonia has completed 70% of City Logistics Krakow 1. Uh, full build out, the park will be 36,500 square meters. And um, some of the space has already been leased. A recent addition is FM Logistics. They took 2,300 square meters in the logistics park. Uh, this park has been developed on a brownfield site. And uh, according to uh, Philip Norovaro, Senior Leasing Manager at Panatoni, he says, uh, due to its location and history, Krakow is a, a key business center in Poland, but the lack of available land limits the potential of industrial property sector. That is why Panatoni is reclaiming post-industrial land to give its clients the possibility to develop in the best locations. Uh, Raven Sport has also taken advantage of this new development and has leased 1,600 square meters. Those are the highlights from the website for today. For more news, please join us tomorrow. Click here to subscribe to the Coffee with Craig show and don't forget to share it with your friends.